Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina and tonight I'm going to be processing some of my Etsy orders on camera. I'm going to be using my white toner. I only have one shirt that I'm actually going to do using HTV. Um, I believe most of these files are a PNG and an SVG, but when I have multiple colors, a lot of colors, complex design, it's just easier to break out the white toner. So we're going to talk about the white toner. I've only showed it in about two other videos. I've been getting a lot of questions about it so far. And I want you to know that the white toner is a really great machine if you're putting it to use because they are pretty expensive. Mine only fits eight and a half by 11 letter size and A4. So I actually had this image, I printed it out a while ago and I haven't used it. So just so you know, the white toners, they can sit and sit and sit and then you can use them and it's as if they're, you know, they're just really great machines. It doesn't matter how long the machine sits really in my opinion. You don't have to use it every day to keep it, you know, well maintained. Yeah, I only use this machine when I have something that's a PNG file that's not a cut file or when I have something that is just a lot of colors that I just do not want to layer like this. This Minnie Mouse, ain't nobody got time to be layering that. So I'm just going to work tonight because tomorrow I have field day with my son and I won't be able to process any orders tomorrow pretty much. I want to be able to get everything out. So now don't forget to like and subscribe if it's your first time here. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications that way you're notified every time I post a new video because a lot of times people say they don't get the notifications. You have to hit the little bell icon that way you are notified when I post a new video especially when I do the giveaways. So there's more to come. So let's go ahead and let's do this and I'm going to print out um, my design. Designs. Okay, so this is the paper that I use, Luminaris. I get this from Rakoma as well. I need to make sure I have enough paper inside of it. You notice there's um, two parts of the paper. One is the transfer paper, and one is the actual um, paper that has the glue backing. These come, the packs come in, I think, 100 each. So it's two steps. Some people think it's a lot of steps to do, but you know, you have steps when you um, when you use the DTG machine as well. The Luminaris. I love that I have this laser. But now look at it on the shirt. The white toner makes it so much easier when I have it like this because who wants to cut and weed out all these little small letters? So I'm just trying to make sure that's, you know, I measured it. I want it to be too big. That should be good. All right. And I have to do a baby onesie to go with that as well. But I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so now it's time to merge the papers together. I'm using the Think Beyond. This is the part B. It is two steps. Mine has the yellow backing. Hope you guys can see that yellow. I think I'm in my shadow. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do them right here. The paper has one glossy side. So the glossy side is going to go down, face down on your heat press on your counter. This has a glossy side as well. The glossy side is the side that has the glue. So. And if you have like lines on the back of your transfer paper, then you know that makes it easier to tell to distinguish them apart. So I'm going to do it just like that. I'll fold it when it gets on when I get to the heat press. That helps you to actually peel it off. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these. I'm going to get these all ready for the heat press. When I do it that way, you can see see the image just a little bit better. Now you can always save these. You don't have to actually, you know, use them for like this one was two. I'm only going to need one. So I definitely will save one of them. I got to make me and my son some Disney shirts. I'm not sure if I'm taking his butt to Disney. My son's so bad. Yeah, I don't even know to have all the stuff I've been dealing with. So I promise him if he graduated, you know, he would go to Disney. But I think they just letting him graduate to get my son out to school <laughs> because my son is just off the hook like off the hook I've been dealing with so much this year I love this image I really love this image all right so that's that all right so let's go ahead and get the heat press ready and then we'll start pressing them 
Okay, my heat press is ready. I have it heated up to um, 310 just for now. Of course, we press the Caesar Easy Weed at around 315, but because I'm layering it, I'm gonna do it around like 310, and then I'll give it a final press. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-press this, take the moisture out, and then begin layering. So I heated my platen once again, and now I'm just gonna put all my vinyl on top of it. When you heat the platen, this just makes the vinyl peel so much more easier and faster, especially when you have intricate details. A little trick of the trade to make your job go a little bit more smoother and faster. So always heat your bottom platen and put your vinyl right up on top of it and weed. Thank me later. Okay, let's rock and roll because I got all these shirts to do and it is late. So I'm going to lint roll the shirt. Blacks get so linty. Make sure you lint roll your shirt before you press anything. Sorry, my big head is in the camera. I'm trying a new angle, trying to see, you know, what's the best angle for these videos. And I did not realize my head was all in the camera. Sorry. Okay. Nevertheless, um, I actually did this um, shirt on my Instagram reel and it was so popular. So I got some orders from it. So do reels, do trending sounds and you get some orders. So I'm just layering this. Take your time when you're layering with intricate details. Make sure you line everything up um, precisely because you do not want to mess up. So this was an easy design. I got it from Create Fabrica and it was a really big hit. So I've been getting some sales on this because Juneteenth is coming. So get your shirts it's in my Etsy shop if you're interested in getting a shirt. So this is just a cute layer design that I got from Creative Fabrica and I love it. So Real simple, I'm just gonna skip to the end because I showed the whole entire reel on my IG. Okay, I'm all done. I'm just gonna give it one final press. <laughs> freedom, freedom, where are you? All right, I gotta keep moving because I got lots of orders to do. Brace yourself, people. It looks like a hurricane blew through my workroom. I'm sorry. This is not the pretty room tour no more. This is a real working room. So I had to leave everything last night because it was so late. I could barely even stand. I have so much to do. Um, I literally only got through that one shirt last night and I had to do some other prep work. So I have all my transfers ready to go. I'm going to use my 15 by 15 heat press to press those. And I, am, I have to get this mug out the door today. I have to bling a mug this morning. So you'll see me do that. And I still have to do my father's Father's Day Tumblr. I promise I'm going to get to that really soon. I'm going to be doing a full video on that because that was an old messed up Tumblr that I did. All my gear, everything was left in place. I'm going to clear some things up and we are going to get rocking and rolling because I have to get all these orders out the door and go to field day. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my mug press. I have the right attachment gonna let that warm up and I always I always keep extra um, little things files that I have for my sublimation images so I'm hoping whenever I have just one mug order um, I don't sublimate the name only because I don't want to waste my sublimation paper when I have I hope I have this image because then I will have to print out a whole sheet um, I always print extra. So like I always print extra images. So now I'm looking for, and sometimes I just make up names too, just in case. But of course this name I don't have. I even have some water slides in here ready to go. So like I, no matter what I'm doing, I always print extra stuff because I'll eventually use it. So you see all these names. I just keep making up random names to hopefully one day, but this name on this mug is gonna get, um, is gonna be for Miss Tina. So if you're from my YouTube channel, I'm doing your mug this morning. I don't think I have the image that she wants, so I will have to print out. I'm still looking, I'm still looking. All right, so we have to print out her image this morning. I really don't have this image. Okay, so at least the good thing about that now is, now I have, oh, I have it. Ha <laughs> ha, I have it. Okay, boom, because I did not wanna print. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this on here and then I will definitely cut the name out, which is easy. When I have one mug and I don't supplement the name, I'll just do it in permanent vinyl. Alrighty. Boom, 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 boom. I am, I have to be done with everything by like 11.45, 11.30 if I'm nasty. 11.30 if I'm good because I have to go to my son's school today for field day. 
I gotta make him a clap out shirt for tomorrow for the last day of school. Mug press is ready. I'm using my HPN 7 in 1 from Heat Press Nation. I'm using butcher paper. All right, let's go on over to the heat press. Okay, it's ready, it's ready. Okay, slide that right in. Perfect, got it at 365, 210 seconds. Ooh, this is ready, this is ready, this is ready. Let's open this up. Take that out nice and carefully. Alrighty, and of course I moved my mat, so I'm just gonna sit it right up here for right now. Y'all can kind of see the image a little bit through, so we know it's sublimated. And now I'm just gonna shut this off because I only have one mug to sublimate. All right, so I'm gonna let that cool down and then I will start blinging, but let's go to the bling. Okay, let's look at the bling. This is where I have all my bling jars at. All right, so we're doing red and black. Really simple, really simple. All right. Or you guys, you can see my see. I have like extra packs of bling right here, so I'm going to use my dropping everything. I'm gonna use my tools, so I'm just going to unwrap this and hopefully it came out perfect. I'm using a clear tape from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And then I'll put the name on it after it dries. Boom, ready to bling. So this is my sexy Afro girl. She's a real big hit. I can change the headband to any color. So hers is gonna be black with the red headband and with the gold hoop earrings. I always mix and match my pearls with different sizes so that way you can make them fit into the tightest corners. You know, you just take your time. I'm using the E6000. I meant to mention that first because everyone always asks me what glue do I use. I use the E6000 glue and I just go section by section because the glue does dry really fast. So you just wanna take your time. I spread it with the toothpick and I'm catching up on my shows, catching up on YouTube as I am blinging. Nothing like blinging in the morning, blinging at night, catching up, on, catching up on my shows and getting some work done as well. These used to take me so long, but now I zip through and I fly through these mugs so fast. So each mug might take me 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the colors, depending on the details. But um, I definitely just take my time, especially with the small sections like the earrings. So right here, I'm just searching for the little small, tiny pieces for the hoops but this mug is literally almost done and then once it dries I will go ahead and add the name so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat press on so this has to warm up um, I'm gonna set it to 310 and it has to warm up all the way first and then I have to heat the top and the bottom platen so I'm waiting I'm don't mind me this is what i do while i'm waiting for my heat press to warm up and get on my phone i gotta do more tiktoks or more reels where i'm actually in the video so i'm trying to see which one should i do i'll be saving a lot of different sounds in my phone <laughs> i'm hyped because today i got field day so i'm getting ready to leave in literally one hour and 20 minutes or so to go do field day so definitely Get your reels popping people so i gotta make a reel give me some suggestions of what y'all want me to do because i'm getting ready to start i'm getting ready to start doing a whole bunch of new reels so that way y'all can see me just being crazy the crazy person that i really am okay let's do these shirts okay so now that my heat press is at 310 degrees i'm gonna lay this on a platen. you do have to fold one of the corners let me make sure you can see you do have to bend back one of the corners to make sure that you will be able to peel it up. I'm gonna put on a Teflon sheet. Again, it's at 300 seconds. So you have to have 300 seconds. You wanna make sure you have firm pressure. So I'm going to make sure that I have firm pressure and apply it because you definitely want it to stick. You need that glue to adhere so that way it can transfer on to the sheet. That's too tight. too tight if it bounces back up it's too tight Trina okay gonna stick down 300 seconds okay, up. you have to have a shirt to rub it you have to have something 
to rub it. So I'm gonna do that. And you wanna peel it hot. So because you're peeling it hot, that's why you have to have this, okay? You wanna make sure it all transfers. So far, so good. This platen is hot. Peel it back nice and slow and low. Slow and low. All the way. Oh, I meant to actually cut this in half and not transfer because it was two, but it's fine. It won't do anything. I can just put it back. All right, that's that one. So I'm just gonna repeat the steps for all the transfers and then I'm gonna do the next step applying it to the shirt. Popped up. Come on now, I need that same pressure. This thing be stay, stay. Thought so. Told you, I gotta be talking to these machines. So now, Racoma says that you know you press it for 30 seconds, but I always press it longer because. I get better results now this one the first time I lifted it up a little piece did not adhere if you ever have that problem just go ahead lay it right back down do not pull it all the way off and press it again add more pressure add more time and you should have a perfect transfer this is the last one let's hope that this one is perfect you know sometimes it'll be that last one you know how you get in trouble that last final few minutes at work <laughs> oh my goodness I have stories. I derailed the whole train at Amtrak my last final hour. Not even an hour. It was like 30 minutes before I was supposed to clock out and go home. And I derailed the whole train in the yard trying to rush and get out of there. So we're not going to rush this. We're going to make sure this last one come out nice and smooth. Okay. Okay, I literally had to go run and put my sneakers on. I'm just gonna do this mug. The mug is done. This is the mug up close. I had to add the little name. I cut out the name. I had to cut the heat press off. I'll finish pressing. Um, I'll press all the shirts when I get back, but I can't be that mom who is late to her own child's field day. My son is so excited. He loves when I do stuff like this. And I do too. I'm that mom. I'm always doing stuff. Always was a volunteer for my son's school. Oh, come on, the S. See, we don't have time for this. I need this S to come through. I had to cut this twice. When I used the regular default settings, it was, um, it didn't, okay. Boom, we got it. Did a dot cut? These dots don't be cutting sometimes. Jacked up, it's overlapping the M. See, when you rush, this is when stuff happens. Okay, so all I'm doing is just applying the name, simply using the transfer paper for Miss Tina. I'm gonna go spray this and seal it, making sure the name is straight. So last time, so last night my son was so mad at me because as he was coming up the stairs, I hid in the guest bedroom. Cause my son is always trying to scare me. And I scared this little joker so bad. He got so mad at me. I'm like, you are such a poor sport. Oh, my son, he didn't even want me to come in his room. He didn't even want to pray with me last night. We say our prayers together every night. He did not even want to pray with me. My son is a punk. If we have kids, we're supposed to torture them. We're supposed to. Like, that's the joy of parenting is torturing your kids. I know it is for me. I don't know about y'all. My son drives me crazy all day. So any little moment, any chance I get to torture him, it's like pure satisfaction for me. This is more like a vlog style video, I guess. Not really a tutorial, but I'm gonna cut this off because I need to get 20 minutes of juice to charge my phone some more so I can get some footage. So I'm gonna shut this down and I'll show you everything once it's all done. All right, I gotta go. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I sprayed it. I seal it with this because you guys always ask me what do I seal it with, but this is what I seal it with. 
So I just seal the name only, only the name. I gotta get out of here. I got a frog in my garage that I'm like absolutely scared of. I already killed one. I think the mama and the papa frog been coming to my garage trying to attack me. I'm going to the school for field day so I cannot be late and I'm eating in the car. <laughs> Ooh, I need a minute. I'm back. I just went to my son's school for field day. I'm done. Mug is completely done. I have, it is now 321. I got about one good hour and 10, 15 minutes to finish these shirts, which I know I'll knock these out in like maybe 20 minutes or so, just pressing them. So all the transfers are done. I had a really good time, but it was hot. It's like 90 degrees down here today. So I am going to cut these, the ones that need to be cut. I'm going to save the ones that, needs, um, that I don't have to use. I have all the transfers remember you can always save these like you can save these oh see i'm so tired i should i'm gonna use the big one because this is a 15 by 15 i need to use my big one i like to press my transfers on the ricoma because it seems i've only tried pressing the transfers on my um heat press nation one one time and i didn't like the way it turned out but that Ricoma one, oh yeah, it gets these transfers real good. So I always use that one. I don't know, maybe it's because it's a Ricoma white toner and they want you to use the Ricoma um, thing. It just closes. I love the way that one closes. It's like it's locked in. Um, and for whatever reason, it just seems like I get perfect transfers when I use it with that. So I'm going to try my best to have all of this done today. Well, I am. I'm not going to say I'm going to try my best. But I'm going to have all of this done today. I'm going to cut this one in half. One of these I'm going to save for later because this is just a family of three. But as I said, I did not want to waste any of the transfers. So I'll save this one for another time. Um, this one is going with the baby onesie for Father's Day. So I have to still do the onesie. Um, so yeah, we're just going to rock and roll and we're going to get these done. So I'm on Entrepreneur Fast Mode, racing against the clock to get to the post office because I still have to package everything up. So you want to press these at 310 degrees for about 30 seconds. I normally press them from anywhere to 30 to 45 seconds. You want to let them cool down. It is a cool pill. So I'm pressing them all at once, laying them to the side, and then I will come back peel them up and do the final press. You have to do the final press. If you want a more detailed, slower video, I do have two other tutorial videos um, exclusively on the white toner and doing the transfers, but I'm like really in fast mode now. So I'm just doing this. This was just a day in the life of me processing these orders. So I'm gonna package them all up. But once again, I'm pressing them all 310 degrees, 30 seconds, firm pressure, and it's a cool peel. And this is how they look after the final press. Yeah, we're gonna do the peel. Peels back easy. Cover it with a Teflon sheet. 15 seconds. So here's a quick view of all the orders that I processed today. Definitely not the most I've ever had in one day, but just wanted to share my day with you behind the scenes. Thanks for rocking it out with me, processing my orders. Be sure to follow me on IG so that way you can always keep up to date with all my behind the scenes content. So now all I'm going to do is just package them all up nice and neat. Get them to the post office because it's literally 430. My mailman used to always look out for me, but I moved. And my new mailman was looking out for me, but then he went and had um, an aneurysm. So praying that he gets better soon. Now I have a whole bunch of other, you know, postal, um, postal employees that's not my regulars. So I don't even worry about bothering them because it could be a different person every day. So I have to go to the post office myself. Before, my mailman literally called me every day. Are you ready with your packages? So now I am doing it, which is okay. So I'm gonna hurry up and get to the post office. Normally I put thank you stickers in all of my packages, but I'm all out and I forgot to order more. So I have to order more. This is how they came out. I really love the way the laser just makes everything easy. The only thing is you just have to make sure you press it at the right temperature to get everything to transfer. Press it at the right temperature for the right amount of time 
and you should have no problems, no issues. It makes everything fast. So if you're interested in the 15 by 15 heat press or the Luminaris white toner machine, the link is down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I do have a full unboxing and I do have another video with it as well that gives a little bit more information and pricing and everything like that. This was just a quick video of me working. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.